So this is the newly released Bandai Tamashii Nations as HV Arts Super Saiyan Son Gohan, the fighter who surpassed Goku. So this is, I guess, technically a 3.0 of our teen Gohan from the Android slash Cell Saga. And he comes with a cloth cape, which is very exciting. The first time we ever get a fabric cape in the line of SH Figures Dragon Ball Z. So that makes it extra special. Um, on the side, you know, we get the name again. The other side, we get some photos of the figure. And then on the back side, some poses of the figure itself. Now this figure I grabbed from figuregrail.com. Check them out. It's a U.S. based online store that gets you the SHV Arts releases, the imports, at the same time that the Japanese releases it overseas. So instead of waiting a month uh, or weeks and close to a month sometimes for the release for the Japanese or at least the regular U.S. release I should say that you get from Big Bad Toy Store or from other places that have you wait a month at least, uh, you can get it at the same time as Japan, but from a U.S. seller. So this is what Figure Grill does, and also they're actually doing a giveaway right now for this exact Gohan figure. So if you want to enter that giveaway, check them out on Instagram. Uh, they have a post up on what to do to uh, enter that giveaway and you might win yourself this figure right here. So let's check him out and see what he's all about. All right, so I noticed that when I took this figure out of the box, he didn't have any plastic um, films in between the joints like they normally pack these figures with to protect the, I guess, against paint rubbing. So I don't know if that's gonna be a change they're gonna implement uh, with their releases. Uh, so this figure looks great, as I expected. He looks good, he feels good. Um, this is from the Chinese factory, um, so. I expect this one to be good and he looks great man compared to what we've gotten in the past years of this line uh, this is definitely a nice teen gohan so he comes with this head sculpt as you can see his super saiyan hair then he comes with this windswept super saiyan hair right here so he doesn't come with the super saiyan 2 gohan we've gotten that figure already before but he does come with the one swept. I think the the um the focus of this release. Speaking of focus, if this thing could focus on the head sculpt, uh, the focus of this release is displaying him with the Piccolo cape right here. Which honestly, the fabric is a lot thicker than I expected it, and it does come with a bendy wire um, on the sides here and on the back. So quality wise, it's thicker. And a lot nicer than I anticipated for sure. I thought it was going to be a cheap little piece of fabric. But it's not. It actually feels pretty good. So that's cool. And we do get an alternate set of three face plates. So let's check that out right now. So the face plate that he comes packed in with is a very serious stern look. As you can see him right there. Uh, then he comes with this look. Which is another serious look. But as you can see it's very different than what we just saw right now and if you're asking if these are swappable with previous team gohans they are not there's that head swapping mechanism here just to show you how different they made it so it's kind of proprietary to this uh to this release all right so we have this head sculpt where he is again serious but a little bit more angry this time around this is actually one of the coolest ones of the bunch here we have the face expression here with some little battle scars some scuffing uh, but this is the face he makes uh, when he gets angry, when uh, a, a particular character dies. Not that I should avoid spoiling a show that, that that is this old, but just in case, I guess, just in case, we'll keep it spoiler free. But this is where he uh, pretty much snaps out of it, or I get snaps. I, let's just say he snaps, yeah right here so this is cool i like that they included this one right here and then here he is with the windswept head sculpt with the open mouth faceplate right there so it is a total of one two three four five faceplates if you count the one on the separate hair sculpt in terms of hands he does come with a pair of fists we do get these grabby open hands and you can see how that subtly changed but these open hands have a different pose to them as you see and then these open hands are fingers widespread here so the widest open hands he has and lastly our last pair of hands are these karate chopping hands right there and then lastly here he is with piccolo's cape attached 
and uh, this finalizes the look. And I think the the face with the eyes kind of relaxed works best for this because he's kind of relaxed in this pose. Although, again, he could be angry. You, you could put any faceplate on this, but uh, I think this is the one I, I kind of feel a little bit better. Uh, I do feel like the, the chin sits a little too low. Maybe I gotta pull it up a little bit. There you go. Let's see if it's a little bit better, like he's looking up. But yeah, just so he doesn't look like he's sunken inside that collar. Uh, overall, man, this is a a pretty cool feature. You know, first time we're getting fabric goods for a cape. I think they're testing the waters, and I kind of like it. I mean, it breaks up here with the plastic to the soft goods, so it looks weird from the back. From the front. Not so weird in my opinion. I think I can live with that and it looks really good and you can pose it whichever way you want. You can have it windswept, you can have it, you know, swept up or swept to the side, whatever you may like to pose in or just relax like the way I have them right now. And I think it looks really good. So let me know your thoughts. I'm sure they want to know your thoughts too on the fabric good cape because we got a lot of caped characters in Dragon Ball Z that perhaps need this treatment or maybe you don't want this treatment but um, I think it works at least for this Gohan alright so here's our very first Gohan ever released in this in this entire line this teen Gohan here we got the the muted you know stale colored um, uh, manga version but you can see it's the plastic uh, cape which honestly for its time not terrible it's still not terrible today but it does limit the range and motion of the arms by a lot you cannot move those arms a lot these you can you can pose the cape however you want get it out the way and pose the arms however you would like as well so that is where we get the improvement uh, now this one got some shading on it this one has no shading on it some people may not like that but we do get shading on the actual body of of gohan of the new one but as you can see, the hair sculpt, I believe, is improved in my opinion. Got some more detail on that hair sculpt. And it's two-toned. We got the yellow with the dark yellow as well. Shadow uh, or airbrushed in there. Uh, this one does have a smiling, smirking face. While this doesn't seem to have any smiling faces at all. He's just more serious, obviously. He's not here to mess around. But of course, we get the 3.0 growing leg articulation on this one and knee articulation as well overall obviously this is uh, a figure that at this point is over 10 years apart from each other so well over that from the back side you can check out the details there versus how it looks like on the new one with the fabric soft goods so Again, sculpted looks a little nicer from the back, not going to lie. Um, but are you going to look at him from the back? I'm not sure you will. You can clearly see his neck on this one here. Uh, this one you do not see the neck at all. From the back, I should say. Because from the front, you don't really see his neck either. And that goes for both figures. I don't think you're supposed to see his neck anyways, so we're good on that. But there's your, your comparison between the two figures, and I, I strongly believe the new one is, is vastly improved. I really dig it. I like that we get the skin tone on the ankles there, too. Um, you can move the arms, their articulation is better. Obviously, this is to be expected. Again, 10 years apart, well over 10 years apart here. Uh, you could just see how ahead of their time they were 10 years ago, and how much they've improved since. So, you love to see it. In terms of their height, as you can see, their height is basically the same. They did not change height much. I, I, I guess the hair on the old one is just a tad bit taller. I don't know. Maybe that's just the angle I'm looking at it. I could be wrong. They look the same to me. Honestly, I'm looking at the shoulders where the faces line up to each other. Uh, everything is about even, so I, I think it's safe to say that uh, height-wise they didn't change very much. Here he is next to the 2.0 release, which came with the Battle Damage Gi. And this is still a great figure, still good for what it is. It's our only Battle Damage Team Gohan, aside from the event exclusive they repainted of this guy. But uh, you can see they're sporting the same hair sculpt here. Um, and I mean, 
sculpt wise, I guess for the face, I would I would have to go with the new one for sure. Um, skin tones are different. The hair color is a little bit different too. Everything's overall pretty different. So as you can see, nothing's gonna be even if they could fit the face plates, you're not gonna match the skin tone. So uh, in case you want to see these two next to each other, uh, there you go. So here is the 1.0 SDCC exclusive anime colored version and they're matching the blue belts with the purple gi here the darker contrasted colors that i do like but as you can see obviously very different this is a over 10 year old figure once again just like that first one i showed you and uh you know pick your pick your poison here we have we have a lot to choose from but honestly i love them all i really do a uh, new one is is solid very solid and i can see how that's that's the best one and it should be you know it, it, we should be getting better not worse so we were definitely uh looking pretty good and just to get him here next to his father got the saiyan rays on earth goku figure and height wise you can see how they stack up and i think that's pretty good all right so that should wrap things up on this review of the fighter who surpassed goku super saiyan son gohan 3.0 you love to see it. I love to see it. I'm very happy with this release, and I think you will be too. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about this cape? Honestly, check it out, man. When swept, I think it's a hell yeah. You know, lovely. Love it, love it, love it. So anyways, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always, everyone, take care, take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.